They are said to be good for the eyes, or have you ever seen a rabbit with glasses? In our series on seasonal vegetables, today we are talking about the carrot, Daukur carota. In Germany it is also known regionally as Karotte, Möhre, Moorrübe, Gelbrübe, Gelbe Rübe, Rübli, Riebli or Wurzel. Carrots probably originate from Iran, in white form from the Mediterranean and in a yellow and purple form from Afghanistan. Our orange color today is a mixture of these forms. The oldest evidence for the use of the wild or cultivated form comes from ancient Greece and Rome. Dioscorides mentions it as a widely used medicinal plant, also today it is not entirely certain whether he was referring to carrots or parsnips. This was still the case in the Middle Ages in various books on medicine and herbs and in the writings of Hildegard von Bingen. Only in the writings of Albertus Magnus is the carrot clearly described. Red, purple and yellow carrots came from Spain via Persia in the 12th century and then to Italy. They have been described many times since the 16th century and then the triumphs of the yellow carrot began, because yellow carrots were increasingly cultivated and the purple ones became more and more of a fodder crop. Orange carrots were bred in the Netherlands in the 17th century. Germany is the fifth largest producer of carrots in the world with almost 1 million tons. Carrots are known for their high vitamin C content as well as alpha and beta carotene. The other ingredients can vary greatly depending on the variety and cultivation method. Even those who want to grow them themselves can do so very easily. The soil should be very well drained, sandy loam soil is well suited. Water logging would be very bad. If you get carrots that have a split root, this is a sign that the soil is too firm. The soil should not be too sandy either, as a carrot needs enough water in the summer. It is also possible to grow carrots in a window box on the balcony, but these boxes should be at least 30 to 40 centimeters deep and varieties should be used that are more rounded than long. In the garden the carrots can be planted in the ground or 25 to 40 centimeters high mounds of soil can be created. This also helps if the soil is too dense or moist. Preparation with manure is not recommended as these encourage the carrot fly, a pest. Carrots can be sown from the beginning of March. There are early, medium and late ripening varieties. If you sow them four weeks apart, for example, you can start harvesting the sweet early varieties at the beginning of June and harvest the late savory varieties in the autumn, which can be stored into the winter. A little patience is required, as the germination time can be up to four weeks, so don't rush if the cotyledons are not yet visible. At harvest time, start thinning out the carrots by removing the strongest one from the rows. But you can harvest carrots at any stage, even very tender baby carrots. Once harvested, late carrots can be stored over the winter. You can find carrots with fresh green at the market or in the vegetable section, which should be twisted off for longer storage. Unwashed carrots can be stored considerably longer than washed carrots. If you have washed carrots, they should only be stored in the vegetable compartment of the fridge for a few days. If you harvest your own carrots, do not wash them, but take them directly into a cool place, perhaps a cellar or hallway, and store them in a sandbox, sometimes for months. It is important to store only undamaged carrots, as bacteria and rot can pick penetrate through the injuries. If you have already chopped the carrots ready to cook, you can also freeze them. However, you should only use them for dishes in which the carrots are cooked until soft, as the consistency will suffer. To prepare carrots, remove the green parts 
then it is generally sufficient to wash them well and scrub them with a root brush if necessary. Especially with later varieties, the outer layer can be somewhat harder and more bitter, so you can also peel it thinly. Cut off any green area at the top. Then you can bite into it. Otherwise, cut the carrots in small as you like. If you cook them with potatoes, they both take about the same amount of time to cook. If you cut them into smaller sticks, you can also use them directly in a salad. The green can also be used as a substitute for parsley and cooked or sprinkled on top in the same way. Smoothies can also be made from both the carrot and the greens. Whether in a stew, in a cream soup or as a side dish like peas and roots, I always find it very tasty. What's your favorite way to eat carrots? Raw or cooked? With a dip or as a salad? Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.